I, I don't know what you're talking about, 9-11. I, you know, I don't recall uh, saying anything about 9-11, but, you know, I called a conspiracy. I, well, came out of, you I, you know, know what I'm talking what about. It came out of the Bergen interview. I, I do not well, know Well, in the Bergen interview where about. you were I, saying I, you're not sure what happened. You know what I'm talking about, Bobby. I'm not, I'm not you know well, me, I'm not trying to be uh, sneaky about it. You mentioned 9-11. The official explanation of 9-11 you, you buy? Which is what? Al-Qaeda attacked us on 9-11. I, I, I don't know what happened on 9-11. I mean, I understand what the official explanation is. I understand that there is the sense. I have not looked into it. I haven't examined it. I'm not a good person to talk to about it. Well, I mean, so there's doubt in your mind that Al-Qaeda was responsible? Well, I know. I don't know. You know, I know that there's... I know there's strange things that happen that don't seem... What What are the strange things? Well, one of the buildings came down that wasn't hit by a plane. So, you know, it wasn't Building 7 or Building 10. That collapsed because two of the world's biggest buildings collapsed on top of it. No, they didn't collapse on top of it. My offices were down there. My offices were closed. So one of the buildings in next to the Trade Center. No, there's pictures of it collapsing. There's nothing collapsing on top of it. I mean, I listen, I don't want to argue any theories about this, because all I've heard is questions. I have no explanation. I have no knowledge of it. But, but it, what you're, you're repeating now, I know not to be true. To clarify, yes, I could have been more precise here. The government's official report found that Building 7 was hit with debris from the North Tower. That impact caused fires, which led to the building collapse. It's very well documented, and there's nothing strange about it. I'm not trying to be coy, Chris. I just, I, you know, I think if you go back and look at that interview or any interview, I never, I never voiced a conspiracy theory. So I may say, I don't know what the facts are, or you know, I'm willing to question government orthodoxies, but I never advanced a theory about what happened on 9/11. I can tell you that. On 9/11, here of was course. my concern about it. After, after you did uh, the Bergen interview, when people started to process it, they said, "Hey, you know." Uh, you are having uh, Bobby Kennedy on, and he says he doesn't know what happened on 9-11. I went back and I read the whole transcript of the interview. I believe that that's not a fair reading. You did say, I don't know what happened on 9-11, but I do understand the government's reckoning of it, and I don't have any reason to not believe it. Is that what you're saying? Or are you saying that you don't know whether you believe what the government says happened on 9-11? This matters. Well, I don't, you know, listen, I've been around long enough that I question everything that the government tells me. And I think people who don't question what the government tells them are not paying attention. You know, when I was a kid, the government didn't lie to us. And America, 80 percent of Americans in 1960 believed that the government didn't lie to us. And then a lot of things happening. One, my uncle's assassination. Right. And, you know, the Warren Commission report, which a, a subsequent congressional investigation came to a completely different conclusion in the Warren, than the Warren Commission report, mm -hmm. a, a, a congressional investigation that was much more thorough. Oh, the, then the, the Pentagon Papers came out in 1973 and showed that the government had systematically lied to us about the war in Vietnam. And since yes. that time, I think you and I grew up in an era, Chris, where we expect the government to lie to us. So I think part of being a citizen in a, in a democracy is to question authority, to question everything. Trust in the experts is not a feature of science, and it's not a feature of democracy. It is a feature of totalitarianism, and it's a feature of religion. But we live in a democracy, and it's science. Our policies have to be science-based. And so we need to question everything. And when new facts come, we need to question them again. And so, you know, I'm not going to say... Understood, but you're not pitching, you're not pitching an alternate I? theory. You're not pitching an alternate no, theory I, of what happened pitched, on 9-11. No, I've, I've never pitched... Okay. I've never pitched an alternate, alternate but, theory. There's a lot in the air accusing you of it. I want to give you the opportunity to address it, and you have. That's what we do here. Uh, so, Bobby yeah. Kennedy, um, <laughs> again... I've, kn I've known you a long time. People know uh, that we've been friends for a long time. I don't do you any favors if I don't tell you what they're saying about you and give you a chance to handle it on your own terms for this audience. And that's what you'll get every time out. 
Thank you so much, Chris. I, I appreciate it. I've told you before, I want you to always be tough on me, and you're a good journalist, and I appreciate that. It's not tough. It's just fair. If they're going to say it about you, I should say it to you and give you a chance to deal with it face-to-face uh, -face with the audience. You can come after me when I see you in person. Bobby Kennedy, Jr., thank you for taking the opportunity. <laughs> Happy Easter. Thanks for having me, Chris. Happy Easter to you and your family.